Hey guys, it's Emily from Heart My Body Fitness and today I'm so excited because we're doing another taste test and this time it's of one of my favorite foods, ice cream. Eee! Actually, to clarify, it's not like the ice cream that you ate when you were a child and that made you fell in love with ice cream. It's the ice cream that is marketed as being a healthier version of ice cream. Before we hop in, it means so much to me if you share this video out and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm putting out new videos every Monday and if you subscribe then you'll never miss a Monday. So today I'm going to try eight different ice creams. There are four different brands and two ice creams per brand. I tried to give you some consistency so you kind of know how to compare between brands. I'm going to share their nutritional facts as well as my thoughts on their texture and taste. Okay, you ready? I'm so ready. I'm like so excited. Ooh, let's do it. Okay, the first one that I'm going to try is the Halo Top Peanut Butter Cup. It has 320 calories per pint, so it's a lower calorie ice cream. It says light ice cream contains 72% fewer calories than regular ice cream, a good source of protein. Interesting. So nutritional facts. Serving size is one half cup, and there are four serving sizes per container here. The total calories for, again, a half cup is 80 calories. Calories from fat is 30. The total fat is 3.5 grams. The total carbohydrates is 14 grams. There's three grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and five grams of sugar alcohol. I talked about sugar alcohol in my protein bar review, um, so I'll link that up below. And then and protein is five grams, again, per serving. It does contain skim milk, so it's not dairy-free by any means. Let's give it a go. I like this taste test. This is good. This is bomb. This is very tasty. As far as the texture goes, this is like pretty smooth and creamy. I really like the taste. It feels chocolatey with a really nice amount of peanut butter. There are some little like peanut butter swirls in here, which is yummy. Nice little hit of peanut butter. So yeah, I would definitely um, eat this again based on the taste and the texture. I think it's important to keep in mind though that this is not dairy free. So if you're like me and you are a little bit dairy intolerant or at least just get pimples, with dairy, then that's something to keep in mind with this one. That being said, I really like the texture and I really like the taste. Mm. Okay, next up is the Halo Top Sea Salt Caramel. It's 320 calories per pint. It contains 66% fewer calories than regular ice cream. I wonder what they're comparing that to. It's a good source of protein, apparently. Serving size is, again, one half cup. There are four serving sizes per container. One serving is 80 calories, 20 calories from fat. The total fat is 2.5 grams. The total carbohydrate is 16 grams. Dietary fiber is three grams. There are seven grams of sugar and five grams of sugar alcohol and five grams of protein. Again, skim milk. This is like my favorite taste test so far. Love ice cream. Okay, here we go. Mmm. That's really good too. This is quite tasty. It tastes like regular ice cream to me. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, this is bomb. Texture, I definitely like it. It's not quite as creamy as regular ice cream or as creamy as the peanut butter cup one, but the peanut butter cup one was a little bit more melted too. As far as taste goes, this is pretty darn good. It's pretty light. Like it's not heavy. I don't feel like the caramel is super overpowering. It's just a really nice light caramel taste. Yeah. I would eat this again and I'm probably going to finish it after. <laughs> The fact that these are only 320 calories per pint is really impressive to me, especially because the texture is pretty smooth and the taste of both of these is bomb. So good. The next ice cream is the Enlightened The Good For You ice cream. This flavor is chocolate peanut butter. More protein, less sugar. It is 90 calories per serving. So let's see, if it's 90 calories per serving, there are four serving sizes per container. You're looking at 360 calories per container. Yes, that's, yes, uh-huh. So 90 calories per serving. There are 40 calories from fat. The total fat is 4.5 grams, 13 grams of carbohydrate. There are five grams of dietary fiber, three grams of sugar, and erythritol, or erythritol, depending on who you listen to say it, is five grams. And then protein is seven grams per serving. It is made with RBST free milk. So it is skim milk again, not dairy free. Let's see. 
I'm excited. Ooh. Ooh. There is a nice swirl of peanut butter. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna get some of that swirl. This is my happy place right now. We should never leave here. This is delicious. The texture, super smooth and creamy. In terms of taste, is very good. I really like the peanut butter swirl. The chocolate tastes like chocolate, tastes like it should. Yeah, this is, this is really delicious. I would definitely use this as an alternative to ice cream. It is very tasty. It's super creamy. It's not dairy free, but you know, so it goes. And it's delicious. Probably gonna crack into this one later. Next up is another enlightened ice cream. This is the sea salt caramel. More protein, less sugar, the good for you ice cream. It is 80 calories per serving. Again, there are four servings per container. One serving size is half a cup of ice cream. So what's four times 80? Given that this full puppy, this whole pint is 320 calories. Calories from fat is 15. Total fat is 1.5 grams. Total carbohydrate is 17 grams. Dietary fiber is five grams. Sugar is five grams. Erythritol is six grams. And protein is seven grams. Okay, same rules apply here, skim milk. Let's try this. Guys, these are all really good. This is so yummy. I'm used to like making these awful, awkward faces at you guys, although I haven't tried everything yet, so stay tuned, let's see. But I'm happy to be enjoying the food that I'm taste testing for you. Texture-wise, so creamy. This is probably the creamiest of all of them so far, maybe because of the caramel too. As far as the taste goes, the caramel tastes awesome. It's very caramelly in a good way, not overpowering, not like, ooh, too sweet, but just right, really. If you like caramel or caramel, if you like ice cream, but you don't want all the calories of normal ice cream, but you don't mind the dairy, this one is a good option for you. All right, to summarize, I really liked both Enlightens. Um, I thought that the texture was really smooth and creamy. The taste of both is delicious, not too sweet or overpowering, but just right. I think these are comparable enough to regular ice cream that these would make a great alternative, just like the Halo Top. I'm really excited about this next one. I didn't even know of this brand Proyo, low fat ice cream, but I found it at Trader Joe's today when I was just kind of browsing. So I figured that I'd give it a try. It has 35 grams of protein per container. It is a high protein salted caramel crunch ice cream. It is non-GMO, gluten and soy free, good source of fiber, low glycemic index, low fat, RBST and RBGH free milk. Compared to the Halo Top and the Enlightened, this one seems to have a little bit less fat and a little bit more protein, but not by much. There are 3.5 servings per container. It's 120 calories per serving and five calories from fat. Total fat is only 0.5 grams per serving. The total carbohydrate is 19 grams. Dietary fiber is three grams. Sugar is nine grams and sugar alcohol is seven grams. Protein is 10 grams. It has skim milk, whey protein concentrate. So again, and not dairy free. Looking at this versus Halo Top, this has more calories per serving, um, but it has less fat per serving and more protein per serving. And comparing this to the Enlightened, it has, again, more calories per serving, but less fat and more protein. Okay, let's give it a try. Hmm, this one is pretty creamy but not quite as creamy as the Enlightened or the Halo Top. I'm definitely getting a little bit more of an icy, iciness. Like I said, I mean, it's pretty tasty. This caramel flavor is a little bit sweeter than the others, and so for that reason, I'm not as big of a fan of this one. I wouldn't prefer this one over the Halo Top or the Enlightened. That said, if you're looking for a higher protein and lower fat ice cream, this might be a good one. You might like this one. You might wanna note though, um, 120 calories per serving means 
math means more math for me. Let's see. What is 120 times 3.5 equals? 420 calories per container as opposed to Halo Top and Enlightened, which were less calories, and this is a smaller container, so you're getting more calories uh, bite for bite. Next is another Pro-Yo. It is, again, low-fat ice cream, and this one is mint chip. I'm really excited. I couldn't find a comparable option to the like chocolate peanut butter trend that I've been on with the other ones, so mint chip, I figured might be kind of fun. Let's see here. Serving size is one half cup. There are 3.5 servings per container, so again, smaller than the uh, pints. The calories is 120 per serving. Again, higher calories than the Enlightened and Halo Top. Calories from fat is 15. 1.5 grams of fat per serving. Total carbohydrate is 19 grams. Dietary fiber is three grams. Sugars is nine grams and sugar alcohol is seven grams per serving. And this is 10 grams of protein per serving. Again, it is uh, skim milk, not dairy free. There's a chip. I found it. Yay. Here's what I'm thinking. It's again, still pretty creamy, but not as creamy as the Halo Top or the Enlightened. It's not as creamy as regular ice cream. The taste is actually pretty good. The mint flavor is really nice. This one's not too sweet. I do like the occasional chocolate chip roaming around in here. Kind of wish that there were more. As far as mint and chip goes, like I'm impressed that they're able to improve the nutritional facts, but I wouldn't probably buy this one again. Yeah. Summarizing my thoughts on Proyo, this is a little bit different from the other two, the Halo Top and the Enlightened, in terms of what they're going for here. It's more of a high protein, low fat ice cream. Flavor wise, these taste pretty good. That being said, the texture for me, is just leaves a little bit to be desired. It seems a little bit more like this is the healthy option to ice cream versus like, oh, this is just ice cream and I really like it. This next one is Arctic Zero. It's chocolate peanut butter. It says that these are fit frozen desserts is labeled creamy, so we'll be the judge of that, won't we? 35 calories per serving and 150 calories per pint, so definitely the lowest of all in terms of the calories. One serving size is a half a cup and there are four servings per container. Total fat is zero grams. The total carbohydrates is seven grams. Dietary fiber is two grams. Insoluble fiber is one gram and sugars is five grams. And there are three grams of protein. The first ingredient on the list is purified water. So that should be interesting. It says that this is GMO free, lactose free, and fat free. So if you're lactose intolerant, this might be the option for you. Here we go. Oh, can I already tell there's gonna be a texture difference here. Let's see. Oh, I can't get through one taste test video without making an ugly face. Ugh. I don't like this at all. This is super icy, like all the way through. Very watered down, which makes sense because the first ingredient was water. Okay, texture. This is not very creamy. It's pretty icy. Um, it does not feel like ice cream. Taste-wise, I can't taste the peanut butter. It's like it's trying to be chocolate, but it's just not. That being said, given the nutritional facts, if you're okay with a more icy, less flavorful form of ice cream, then this could still be a good option for you. When choosing desserts, this is not one that I would pick just because the taste and texture don't outweigh the nutritional facts for me. Meh. Okay, this last ice cream is the Arctic Zero Salted Caramel. It says caramel flavor with a touch of sea salt. Fit frozen desserts as per usual with Arctic Zero. 35 calories per serving, 150 calories per pint. Nutritional facts that are listed here. We've got a serving size is half a cup. We've got four servings per container. 35 calories per serving and zero calories from fat. Again, this is fat free. Total carbohydrates is seven grams. Dietary fiber is two grams. Insoluble fiber is one gram and five grams of sugar. And then it also has three grams of protein. Purified water is again the first ingredient on the list. And then like the last one, so I'm a little bit afraid, but let's see if it can redeem itself. Okay. Mm, it's, it's, this one's tastier to me than the other Arctic Zero option. This one is a little bit creamier. It's still pretty icy. I have to say that the spoon 
doesn't go through it without me being able to hear it like hitting the ice pieces icicles you get it so it's not as creamy as the other options as far as the taste goes it's okay it tastes kind of like caramel but it's not um as delicious as the other ones that were also caramel I'm not a big fan. Final thoughts on the Arctic Zone ice creams. These are my least favorite, definitely. These are icier than the other options and definitely not as strong of a flavor. And so for that reason, even though their nutritional facts are better than regular ice cream, I probably wouldn't choose this as an alternative to ice cream. I probably personally would take the hit on the regular ice cream and just go for that if I really want to uh, indulge. There you have it guys, those are my thoughts on the eight healthier ice cream variations. To summarize, the Halo Top and the Enlightened were by far my favorites. If I were going to choose an ice cream variation to have a little bit healthier option, then those would be the ones that I would definitely go for. The Proyo is definitely second tier for me. It just didn't really have that same wow factor that the Halo Top and the Enlightened had. And then lowest on the totem pole is definitely the Arctic Zero. I didn't really like that one very much in either flavor. Personally, I would not select that as my ice cream variation. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked today's video, I would love for you to like it on YouTube, share it out, and of course to subscribe to my channel. Subscribing truly is the best way to show your support that you want more videos like this and to ensure that you never miss a video. If you have any questions or thoughts, maybe you've tried these before and have a different opinion of them, let me know in the comment section of this video. I so appreciate your time guys and I will see you next Monday.